Hey guys, in today's news update we want to talk about erectile dysfunction and specifically about preventing erectile dysfunction from getting worse and if you don't have it, at least, you know, not getting it at all. This is Arnold Broad at Healthy at 60 Plus. If you have any questions about this video or any of the videos on my channel, just give me a call or text me at 609-410-4790 or you can leave a question in the comment section below this video. Now let's see what we have today. So you can prevent many of the causes of ED and of it getting worse. You can do it. The underlying causes of ED only get worse over time unless dealt with. Now unfortunately the needed steps require lifestyle changes. It's not just a medication thing it requires lifestyle changes to really get to the underlying cause. Medication, as a general rule, is symptom relief. So the first thing is quit smoking. Now, if you're a smoker, you know it's really tough to quit smoking. But if you do smoke, it's really beneficial to quit because smoking is linked to heart and blood vessel disease and heart and blood vessel disease are some of the underlying causes of erectile dysfunction. So they did a study and they said, found out that even when heart and blood vessel disease and other possible causes of ED are taken into account, which might be diabetes or some nerve issues, smoking still increases the chances that you will have ED. Smoking all by itself can lead to the damage that causes ED. The next lifestyle is follow a healthy eating plan. To help maintain erectile dysfunction, you want to choose whole grain foods, low fat dairy foods, fruits and vegetables, and lean meat. And basically what they're saying here is try to cut out the junk food, try to cut out the fast food restaurants, Try to cut out as much processed food as you can. A really good diet for that is something called the Mediterranean diet. You could find literally thousands of references to it on, online. But maintaining a healthy eating plan is vitally important for your cardiovascular health, your circulatory health, and therefore your sexual health. Kind of going along with the eating well is maintain a healthy weight. Following a healthy eating plan to help aim for a healthy weight and control your blood pressure and diabetes. So diabetes is a disease of diet. And blood pressure is by and large a disease of diet. So the better you can control what you eat, the better you can control your blood pressure and your uh, blood sugar levels. And controlling your blood sugar levels and your blood pressure will help prevent ED and even reverse ED if you have it. Vitally important. Vitally important. Maintaining healthy weight also can help delay the start and progression of diabetes and keep your blood pressure down, as I said. So these are from studies, so I'm just not making it up. Talk with your doctor about how to prevent diabetes or manage the disease if you already have it. When you go to your doctor, by and large, you're going to be offered medication. So you really want to dig down and don't just settle for, oh, here's a script and go out and you know, take these pills and you'll be fine. Symptom relief is great in the short run, but you really want to use lifestyle to reverse any of the conditions that you have, and they are reversible. Now, losing weight may also help reduce inflammation. And inflammation is an underpinning factor for many diseases. Losing weight may also increase testosterone, which we all know that is a great thing to have at a reasonable level, and most men 
once they get past 40 or 50, really have severely low testosterone levels. Losing weight will also help with your self-esteem. So all of these help to prevent and reverse erectile dysfunction. And if you are at a healthy weight, great, just keep it. And the next is physical activity. Physical activity increases blood flow throughout the body, including the penis, and erections work on good blood flow. If you've not exercised before, you really want to start slow and increase your intensity of exercises over time. You always hear the, um, the caveat that says, before you start an exercise program, talk to your doctor, get checked out, see what your heart's like. You don't want to overtax yourself, build up to it slowly. Avoid using illegal drugs. Illegal drugs can prevent you from getting an erection. They can do it because they can prevent you from feeling aroused and they can prevent kind of other sensations from happening. Also, avoid drinking too much alcohol. The same problem with alcohol as with illegal drugs, you kind of get numbed. If you have a problem with alcohol, same with drugs, you know, it's best to seek help if you can. An added approach to preventing and reversing the underlying causes of erectile dysfunction is supplementation. And I use supplementation in addition to the lifestyle changes to boost any of the changes that I want to have happen. And a particular supplement that I use is something called ProArginine Plus, which delivers something called nitric oxide therapy. Nitric oxide therapy is an important addition to any health regimen because nitric oxide therapy is a natural way to repair the cardiovascular system, which helps with high blood pressure, cholesterol issues, sugar issues, and what we're talking about, erectile dysfunction. Now, I have a really good video on nitric oxide therapy, and I'm going to leave a link to that video in the comment section below and in the description below this video, so you get to get to it in two ways. Once you've seen the nitric oxide therapy video, if you have any questions about it, just give me a call or text me at 609-410-4790. The same for this video or any of the videos on my channel. You could also leave a question in the comment section below this video. I want to thank you for stopping by and watching this video. Have a great day, and here's to your good health.